Uh, wait. Welcome back to Let's Talk Health with Teddy Manuel, who just did a facial. Now, Ted, how often should one do a facial? Well, one can have a facial treatment once or twice a week. Wow. Or you can have it every day. Every it depends day. on what you are doing, what you're trying to achieve. But I think once a week is, is appropriate. It's depends on, yeah, your kind And of should men have facials because they tend not to want to? Because as long as you have skin and you're exposed to the elements. Remember, dust particles. People spit. Dogs, they do stuff out there, you know, mm. and you have the, the stuff from the cars, the automobile. Mm. They're getting onto your skin and all mm. kinds of stuff. You must, um, you see, we're protected from the neck on down, okay? So uh, you get home and you jump in the shower, but you don't take care of your, 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 your facial skin. The skin is exposed uh, mm. from, from, from your neck on up the hands and so forth. We must keep them clean and protected because the skin is really protected from your neck on down. Your, our clothing, mm -hmm. you'd be surprised, really protects us a lot. Well, after being informed last week about cancer, I'm sure that this week's program will be just as or even more informative. How do we get rid of fibroids? Well, it's easy, you know. Some people will disagree, may disagree with me, but once something develops, it can go back to where it came from, okay? If one minimizes one's uh, intake of protein, exercise, huh? it is very, very, very possible that these cells will just disappear, okay. in a way of speaking, meaning they break down and the body will discard the excretory system will take them up and remove them from the body that's one of the ways earlier you were talking about menstruation right yes. and I would like to know how is the diet important while menstruating well it's important because during menstruation you are losing blood okay. right during that period you're losing trace minerals electrolytes. Mm -hmm. They are vitally important. You find a lot of people during menstruation, they're very weak, they're very tired, they have no zest, no zeal, no vitality, so you know, because they're bleeding. Some people they bleed profusely. Yes. Huh? Some, people do. Uh, some people they bleed for a day or two and they spot and so forth. But again, it's important to know that once you're losing that much blood, you must replenish. This is why we put sea vegetables in the diet, which most women don't like but it's one of the best things that they should get involved in, you know, for the trace minerals uh, content. My question to you is, the incidence of prostate cancer in Jamaica, why is it so high among our male population? Well, diet again. If you watch the way people eat, especially our men, you know, it's a macho thing, and our women are right behind them matching that machoism you know they must prove who can eat the biggest plate of food and what are they eating they eat things that will cause the colon the large intestine to expand huh that's a big problem so <laughs> yes uh diet is the main cause of of of, of this disorder and can be corrected